Hello, my name is Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis, and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This here is going to be a reaction video about the Trump decision. My recent videos was about Trump as a brand, and now I want to go a little bit deeper into what has occurred. I want to make it perfectly clear that this is going to be based on some spiritual principles and a pattern that I've seen. My question became, why are they persecuting that man so much? Why are they wasting so much money and time and resources to persecute that man in all over the country? It really got me to looking at this. It's like, wait a minute, what is really going on here? Here it is. They've been trying to stick him with something somewhere to minimize his influence. However, what they have done is they have maximized his influence. Not him as a person but what he stood for. Because even if they do crucify him for what he's done, that does not eliminate all the people that believe for what he was standing for and what he was standing against. And to continue this particular course of action you're going to make Donald Trump a martyr. That's what's going to happen. You're going to make him a martyr. And then what happens when you create martyrs? Fanatics come up. You're going to, you're going to spawn a group of fanatics about what he stood for. The reason that this came up, because I was saying... Biblically, it reminded me of the same thing they did with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came on the scene. He went at the Pharisees and Sadducees. He went and talked to the people. He fed them. He gave them what they wanted. And then the Pharisees and Sadducees set him up to go before the Roman court. And they got he got convicted. Exact same scenario. I'm saying, wow, is anybody else seeing this? They have persecuted Donald Trump in the courts. This is not about whether he's right or wrong. It's about the actions and the people that it's influencing. They didn't convicted him in the courts. They're about to sentence him. They didn't persecute him, sentenced him. And now when they judge him, the people that believed in what he was saying will become fanatics. Just like they will become religious about what he was standing for. Now, how this is going to play out and who's going to rise up as the fanatics is still going to yet to be seen. However, we can look at what history has shown us. It has shown us that, and I'm going to use Christianity as an example, they were willing to stand up for what they believed in even at the cost of their life. Fanaticism now. Because they had martyred and now they became fanatics. And after they killed off the fanatics, those that were willing to die for it, the next level was it went underground. And it got stronger. It didn't get weaker. It got stronger. And then when it came back, it was unstoppable. 
And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that there's a level of fanaticism in America that's going to come back to haunt it. And I believe, I look, I am not here to judge anyone. I'm just telling you what my experience, my knowledge, and my intuition is showing me. I'm looking at the similarities of the Trump brand to something in history. And because they have persecuted that man, he's brought out what the government is doing. The government didn't let all these immigrants in. And that's a whole other thing because other countries are kicking their immigrants out. And they're running somewhere. A lot of them immigrants are running to America. This is what I'm seeing. The result of brand strategy and how this is playing out. The American brand, like on the Statue of Liberty, it says, send me your poor and those who long for freedom. You better analyze that phrase because I did. It's like you're asking for a class of people to come into the country to fuel the economy. That's my commentary on this. Click like and click share. The political arena is not what this channel is about. It's no more than about the brand strategy behind certain movements, businesses, and we take a look at them with an objective eye. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick. Thank you for watching.